Hi friends, in this video, I'm gonna make an Arduino PLC based bottle filling controller. With this controller, we can fill up as many bottles as we want with an equal quantity. So without further ado, let's start this video. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB, which is one of the largest PCB manufacturing company of China. First, I have created schematic diagram of the project then I created PCB layout and then I generated Gerber files and upload them to JLC PCB website. Then I selected all required parameters such as dimension, quantity, color and a few more options. Then I click on save to cart. This will send our project into shopping cart. Then I click on checkout securely and then I add my shipping address and select my desired shipping and payment method. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. These are my other channels, do subscribe them as well. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Component list, circuit diagram, everything is in the description below. First, I have placed Arduino PLC. After that, I have connected the positive wire of the buzzer to output 1 and its negative wire to ground. After that, I have connected one wire of the water pump to output 2 and its other wire to ground. Then I have connected 12 volt supply to C1 and C2 pin of the PLC. After that, I have connected a button and connected its one pin to input one and its other pin to 12 volt supply. After that, I have connected 12 volt supply to power supply terminals of the PLC. So we have completed all the connections. Now let's see the letter program. First, I have connected two normally open terminals in our configuration. One of them is the contact of input one and the second one is the contact of output one. Then I add a normally closed contact of internal coil. After that, I have connected a coil which is output 2. In the second rung, I have connected normally open contact of output 2. Then I connected a 60 second timer. Then I connected internal coil 1. In the third rung, I have connected a normally open terminal of output 2. Then I connected a 100 millisecond timer. Then I connected internal coil 2. After that, I have connected the normally open terminal of output 2. Then I add a normally closed terminal of input 2. Then I add a normally open terminal of input 3. Then I connected a coil which is output 1. In the fifth rung, I have add two normally open contact. One of them is input 1 and the other one is a normally open contact of internal coil 3. Then I add a normally closed terminal of internal coil 4. Then I connected internal coil 3. After that, I have connected a normally open contact of internal coil 3. Then I connected a timer of 800 milliseconds. Then I connected internal coil 4. So we have completed the letter diagram. Now let's compile it and upload it to the Arduino PLC. 